All right, everyone, here we are in Stonebrunt at Killwool. We have to find someone to help us with the thingy thingy blah blah blah. But before we get started on that, I just want to say and mark this on your calendar because people tell you that this never ever happens, but it does. They just they just don't want to admit it. I was wrong, apparently. And by apparently, I mean, yeah, I was wrong. I just went in and melted Veneral Sathir and hey, look. I don't see a Miss Mirian Soul Cube anywhere in my inventory because, well, um, I don't have one. So, yeah, I'm not sure how it happened. I went in, engaged him. Unfortunately, he was 84, so he was just one level great, and I was like, boo-hoo. But um, I was blasting with my spells, and they were doing zero damage. And I was like, okay, that's odd. I should be doing some damage to him. But uh, so I decided to turn around and deal with his adds because, well, He's probably going to melt me, but I'm going to melt them first. And so I melted his ass, and they were all, oh, boo. And then I went back to him, and he was standing there doing his blah, 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 speaking a language I don't even speak because I don't speak Cistherian on this guy. I don't know why. I just haven't gotten around to it. And he's all like, blah, 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 probably saying the usual uh, the, 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 a high price comes with wasting my time or whatever. And suddenly I hit him with a, a spell, and he dropped down a significant amount. And then I realized that he was in the red, and I was like, he hasn't melted my face off yet, and then I hit him again, and he exploded, and I was like, hmm, uh, here's a combat log in case you don't believe me. Minerals to toxic confusion hits you, but fails to inflict any damage. And I'm thinking that's probably why he couldn't hit me, or at least he was, but couldn't damage me, probably because he was gray, but um, yeah. Um, what is the name of his... Oh, he hit me for 153 mental damage, though, some slashing damage, but I don't see any focus damage. Here's his his Fatalysis, training me for quite a bit of power. But he's not doing any damage, so yeah. So yeah, you can take him without it now. Um, I'm still standing by what I said before, because at the time you could not. Like I said, this was not a case of him almost dying. This was a case of him getting to the point where he says his line and us dying within one second of him saying that line, no matter how many times you tried. And we did try numerous times. An excessive number of times. Like three entire cycles of a repair bot when our armor was utterly broken. So that's 30%. That's 30 deaths. 10% per death. But yeah. But you can get him now because I just did it. So now I just got to mentor down to 90 so I can smash his face. But that's not important. What is important is getting this stupid stick innervated. I need the power of stick. And it must be mine. No one else's. So you go over here and you talk to this person. Llama. She is not, however, a llama, 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 llama chameleon. She is a llama muklisa. Muklisa. Something. She's an erudite. And that's the tragic beauty of a cosmic convergence. I think we're all agreed. All right. Yeah, she's um, a little confused. So she's going to be talking to us about this stuff. Hey, can you transfer mythical power to an individual? And she's like, um, not that my intent is to point and laugh as the rain falls on your ceremony, but all of us here at Quillul are too busy, what with the Nexus, the ruins, and all the lost, lost knowledge hidden like seeds in the field to help you explore your interests, no matter how curious or inspiring they may not be. Not even for a fiery jewel of the underfoot? <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe I've got a couple minutes to give you. That's pretty much what, how that, I, I paraphrased a bit. So, yeah. Mm. All right, I know exactly how we'll do it. I will perform a magical ceremony in order to commune with an ancient erudite. Blah 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 blah. Get back to the point. She 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 man mumbles a lot and starts to meander in her little conversations. All right, so we need to do stuff. All right, we need to get the spell regents to help her con convey with the uh, the undead. Get items, mausoleum, and scholars check. Okay. Alright, so we need all this stuff. So let's just take a look at the quest journal here. That's not the quest I want. That's the quest I want. Get this one off of there. There we go. Get this one off of there. What's, what's all this requisition crap? Alright, I was doing some stuff. Alright, so we need Slither Strike Mambas to get an unscathed Venom Sack. We need six okay, Glittering Particles. Garpum's back. And we have... He needed me to log into his email account to confirm his... Uh TurboTax registration. Shit. I was logged into his email. Yeah, his... 
His uh, email password was um, it was 50 characters long, and it was just a bunch of different numbers and letters, and he wasn't saying them phonetically, so he was like, B. And I was like, B as in Beatrice? No, I mean C as in cat. F. F as in factory? No, F as in fire. They're both F! Did you punch him in the face? No, because he's at his house, which is... I do not away. accept excuses. I'm simply going to have to find myself a new Yapetus, and that's all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When you say F is in factory and he says no, F is in fire, you punch him in the face. I don't care if he's in another dimension. You punch him in the face. <laughs> There's just, just a level of stupid right there that just isn't, that is just inexcusable. <laughs> As you can see, that's, 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 that's Garb from Slash. Waypoint Yapetus. Shrine at, uh, Darklight Wood isn't working. There's no one. Darklight Wood, if you're looking for the, the mirror, wait, the what, wait, what did you say is not working? The Waypoint Spire? Yeah, the, 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 there's no wizard spire there. It's broken. Oh. You know, I vaguely remember that. I don't know why that didn't actually, like, fully remember. I always have to remind myself. I just got to call because it's right there. Yeah, Venerals of Fear, he, he smacked me a good one. He did 153 points of mental damage. Ooh. Wow, he sure showed you. Yes, I do. Congratulations, Ethereum Empire. You follow the, the leadership of someone who is almost as damaging as a Slurpee that was consumed too quickly. <laughs> I'll be right back. She'll be right back. So what we're doing is we're killing these to get all of our little thingies. That's four of six. This will be five of six. And this will also be something of six. Six, in fact. What is attacking me? Highland Fear Soccer. Die, wicked creature of darkness. Okay, so now we need to kill these guys until they give us our one update, which is fairly uncommon. Get used to that, because it's going to do that a lot. What else did I need? Oh yeah, I need the algae from the pond. There's like piranhas and stuff in there, so I'm, I'm scared. You'd be scared too if you had to jump into a pond filled with piranha just to pull a couple of weeds. Uh, we're looking for more of them snakes. There they are. Hey, it's Cobalt. How's it going, buddy? Oh, wow. It did that just to spite me. That's probably what the game's doing today. It's just like, hey, you know what? Everything you say, we're going to prove wrong. Yeah, well, that's just fine. Alright. No piranhas for you. And no piranhas for you. And, oh, there's one. Set for stun. Shh. Grab the weed. Can we go get some more weed? That's too weed. Oh, no, we've been attacked by piranhas. I can't breathe underwater, but I can still cast spells underwater. Hmm. Have I done that particular on this? No, I haven't. I need to do that. There's another heritage quest that can alleviate that problem with breathing underwater, and I haven't done it yet, and it's one of the ones that I recommend you do. I just haven't gotten around to it, because I'm a slacker. If you were weed, where would you be? Hmm. Oh, that looks like it might be one right there. Ha ha! F as in factory? No, F as in fire. Punch him in the face. I will that time. Actually, what you should say is no, F as in fuck you, and punched him in the face. Then it has more power. <laughs> so I'm currently being chased by a fear stalker, which, you know what? No, I'm not. Come here. Now the fear stalkers understand where the fear comes from. See, because they probably said F is in fire as well, and I just turned around, BAM! What? F is in what? And he was like, no, I'm sorry. <clears throat> sorry. Uh, 
You'll have to excuse me. I'm doing my damnedest to be as crazy as possible because I just recently received word that my father is in fact dying. He's on the fast track to Ethernir, and my health actually took a turn for the worst about a week, week and a half ago. It's been kind of rough. But, uh, yeah. I want to go down and visit him, but they've told me that, like, right now there's really no point because he's just, he slips in and out of lucidity. Although, I guess Saturday was a really good day. Oops, I'm not supposed to go here. I'm supposed to go over here. But they're both in the same direction, so, you know. Well he's met. got the same problem that I do, and it's, it's kidney related. So I, I've got a nice, uh, a nice um, preview of what I can expect, as, assuming, of course, that I don't have sudden complications take me down. But yeah, it's, it hasn't been too fun, but you know what? It's the final boss that everyone has to fight, and it is a solo encounter. So it's like, uh, I want to go in there and tank it, because I'm supposed to tank these encounters, but I can't, because this is, this is his instance, so... But he does understand what's going on. As I said, he had a pretty good day Saturday. He was fairly lucid and making jokes about it. So that's good. But I do want to go down. But I don't even know how to get to where he is. He's in some special type of health care center. Not a hospital, but um, it's like a physical therapy place. Because you know, the whole reason he was there was because he broke his ankle. And he was recovering quite nicely and doing all the physical therapy and just being a trooper. And then suddenly his kidneys just gave out. Just pow. But we've expected that for a while, honestly. He doesn't want dialysis or life support or anything like that. And I understand where he's coming from because his quality of life hasn't exactly been high for the last few years. And I know he he's depressed about it. And he doesn't want to linger. He's like, if I'm going to go, I just, I just want to get it over with. And I'm the same way myself. If my kidneys go out tomorrow, it's like, you know what? Just find a ditch, throw my body in it, call over some wild hyenas. Can anyone guess why I want hyenas? Huh? Anyone? Anyone? Because gnolls! And then Kiko will show up and it'll be like a guild get together. Yay! But, anyways, yeah, just. I'm, just, I'm, not, gonna, I'm not gonna need it at that point. So, yeah, just toss my body in a volcano if you want to. I don't care. Just let it, let it just be over with. So, yeah, like I said, I know, I know where he's coming from. Kind of agree with him. But, don't know exactly how long we have now. They said it could be days, it could be weeks. So, uh, and then like I said, my health took a turn for the worse, and who knows, maybe, maybe I'm just going to, maybe this, this might be the one that breaks me, or it might not. I might just slog my way through it like I always do, so, who knows. So, well, fair warning, this, this account might just suddenly become inactive. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not planning to end it until I end, but... I just, I have no idea what the future has in store. So let's focus on innervating this weapon, because damn it. It's also why I got the guild up to 100 the other night. I said, you know what? That's something I want to do before I die, so let's do it now. Because you never know if there's going to be a later. All right, so now she's doing her thing. Our plan has hatched like a writhing hawk covered in its own amnion, all glistening pretty upon its scales and frills. What in the hell is wrong with you llama all right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so she just casts a spell by seeing all this cool stuff and then these dudes are like what the hell do you want i was napping and he's all like oh okay so yeah go to the library okay thanks and then she's like okay go to the library all right thanks all right we're going to the library Yay! This is a very easy step. You have to kill one boss and one boss only. The first boss. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go into the library, which is also a shard zone. Ooh, hiccups. In case you're wondering, I don't know if I ever explained this, but yeah, that's why I have hiccups, because my kidneys are failing and they're not doing what they're supposed to do. I, not just filtering blood, but they also take moisture out and you know get it to other places. They're not, so a lot of moisture just keeps accumulating in my lungs. Which is why my voice will sometimes kind of be really, really light and you can't hear me. And other times I can talk like this kind of close to normal, because my lung capacity is just, it, it varies. 
and people have a lot of difficulty understanding that concept. Sometimes I'm talking low not because I want to, but simply because that is my maximum volume. So yeah. The moral of the story is, um, if you guys are feeling belligerent, rambunctious, don't fuck with your kidneys. Your kidneys will fuck you. Just take my word for it. It's not fun. And I do have a high pain tolerance, unlike everyone else in my family. Still don't know where it comes from. But yeah, it's not fun. Take my word for it. But enough of this. Let's get uh, Yevis. Yevis? Yevis. Nevis. Nevis. Yukis. Yukis, that's right. Yevis, Yukis. Let's get him out. Alright, Yevis, have some spells. I'm going to cast a spell on you, buddy. Have another spell. You might tingle a bit. Alright, so we're going into the library. This is the easy shard zone of the three. There's the library, the research halls, and then there's the um, palace. Which, I've never actually done the palace. I've done, I've gone inside the raid version of it a couple times, but I've never actually done just the regular palace of Eridan. Isn't that funny? I should go in there sometime. Yeah, maybe I should do that. But for now, library of Eridan. Um, there's a question you can get right in the beginning. It's the clue quest. I'm not going to do it. I'll, I'll do a, sp a special library run later. But it's, um, I call it the Clue Quest because it's basically the game of Clue. You have to figure out who committed the murder. Uh, spoilers, it was Colonel Mustard in the library with a orbital particle cannon. Okay, not really. It changes every time you go in. And yes, you can get it wrong. And you should get it wrong because if you get it wrong, you uh, can take the other guys that you haven't killed and they're all worth AA. So yay. This is the person right here. She gives you the quest. Who did it? you got to look for clues. Including the body, the weapon, um, the location. You have to triangulate because there's like a bunch of them. That way you can ask them about the evidence that you found and they'll tell you oh, that so and so, so and so, or so and so had access to that. And then you have to just find the name that matches all three. And that's the one who did it. But you also have to find the evidence because you can't just know the name. You also have to have proof when you present your evidence at the end. Alright, um, I don't actually care about the shard quest today, so. We're just getting the book. So here we are in the library with the candlestick, and we're going to go beat up some Grungak. These are goat people from the Plain of Nightmares. Uh, it's a little bit of lore about them real fast. There was a wizard. He wanted some slaves, so he summoned them, and then they turned on him and killed him. The end. That's pretty much all the game tells you about them, really. There's like a brief little story about them, and that's pretty much it. Kiko loves these guys, and I bet you cannot guess why. Spoilers. There's a goat involved. Alright, so this is the first boss. That guy there. Arcanus Faim. Um, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna clear some of these losers out. And they're all gonna come over here and play with me. And then they're all going to eat Firestorm! I love Firestorm. Remember those old, like, Warcraft commercials where they're all talking about, I think it was shamans and frost shock. Well, yeah, Firestorm is the new frost shock. Although, actually, I think Firestorm... Yeah, actually, yeah. EQ2 did come out before Warcraft. Like, 30 days before Warcraft or 20 days before Warcraft. I remember... Oh, don't, 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 See the, the Merc standing over there not doing anything? Yeah, he's not pathing over. That's the problem that they've been having. Are you, are you, there he is. Void Beast. That is called a Grothok. Or Grothok or something like that. In case you're wondering what that particular creature is called. It's a Grothok or a Grothok or maybe it's a Gruthok. Alright, that's why you have to kill him for this. See how the, they make a staircase? The book that we need is on the second floor, so that's where we're going. We will also need to go to Dimitrix Bastion in the hole and the hall of the research halls, which is the, the medium of this one. And we'll have to go down into Vasty Deep, which is another set of shard zones. Specifically, we need to go to the Vestigial Chilla, or Cella, or something. Everyone I know always has called it Chilla. Maybe that's what it is, I don't know. I never bothered to look it up. I don't pretend to know anything, I just like to look things up when I get curious about them. 
All right, so it could be on one of those tables, or it could be over there somewhere, or it can be over there, or it can be over there. We just gotta look around it, but it's always in this room somewhere. Die, wicked creature. Ye who serve the unholy darkness. Looking for a book. I don't see the book. But my eyes are pretty bad today, so, you know, I could be looking right at it. You're probably jumping up and down, punching your monitor in frustration. But, yeah, my eyes are just not being friendly today at all. Like I said, my health just took a turn for the worst. Don't know where it came from. It just kind of did. Sometimes taking a turn for the worst, worst means my eyes just get really tired and don't want to work properly. I was having a great conversation with an old friend on Facebook and it was like, I, for all I knew, I was just banging on keys and spraying her with ASCII because I couldn't really actually see. Oh, there's a book. See, there's a book right there. Behold, a study in spell transference lacking degradation. See, that's the trick here. We want to transfer the power from my weapon into me, but without it losing potency over time. We need to cast permanency, which means we're going to lose a point of constitution. <gasps> that's not good. That's not good at all. No! All right, that's all you gotta do for the library for this part. You're done. The end. Yay! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're just uh, running out here. All right, let's uh, go return the book to her, and then we'll probably call it quits for now. And we'll do the next step, and then, uh, yeah, we'll do the next step after that. Spoilers, there's a dragon involved. That's vasty deep what we're looking at right there, this uh, little loading screen. This is actually um, the laboratory of Paracelsus, which is also a raid zone. Well, actually, the, the laboratory is the raid zone. Uh, where are we going? Oh, yeah, we gotta go back and talk to what's her name? Llama. Because <sighs> she's a llama, 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 llama chameleon. She's not really a llama chameleon. She'd be cooler if she were a llama chameleon. Yeah, we are currently playing right into Carefirm's hands, or paws, or claws, or whatever you want to call him. But we don't care because we can take him. He's just a prismatic dragon with unprecedented levels of power that even the God Sphere. He's also an idiot. Child Dark kick his ass. I'm telling you, I want to like go resurrect him, bring him up here, and say, yeah. Jaladar, he's, he said that you're you're a big weenie. And yeah, my money's on Jaladar. Alright, Llama, what do you got for me? And you better not double cross me, because I got Winamp going in the background, and it whips the Llama's ass. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see that? Yeah. Here, you can read the book. Fascinating! Okay. Uh-huh, okay, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, okay, cool, uh-huh, Highborn, I think that's a place in EQ1, the effect was not permanent, it went away after a few weeks time, but as we know, I already covered that, we don't want that, and then, I need it to be permanent, yeah, I think, I like that very mischievous translates to murderous as well. Yeah, I always thought that was kind of funny. It's like, this is a very mischievous fairy. Yeah, what's that mean? It's going to stab you in the eyes with a halberd? Oh, okay, I can see that. <laughs> or well, I guess maybe I can't see that since it's just stabbed me in the eyes with a halberd. Oh, uh, yeah. It's the little things in life, really. Yeah, but we're trying, we're trying to keep this video family safe, so let's not talk about that. Oh, did I just do an implied <laughs> burn on myself? Oh, yeah, I'm a wizard. I deal with fire spells. <laughs> That's something that bugs me though. It's like I, I I have fire, I have ice, but I don't have any earth. I don't have any wind. It's, 
I totally want to go back to Ragnarok just so I can make an Earth Wizard just to spite EverQuest. Be like, hey, hey, I made an Earth Wizard. Yeah, they suck, but I made one. Nuh. And they'll be all like, no. Oh, here's the fun part. A conjurer can be an Earth Wizard. Yeah, that's that's the thing that, that got me. Is like, you know, uh, you think that uh, the conjurer's like, oh, I can do all of them except water. Well, I mean, you can do water as a conjurer, but if you do, I will slap you senseless because you obviously have no sense, anyways. Spoilers. That means water pet sucks. Don't do it. All right, so the next step shows us, shows us, has us going to all the player game research halls and see I got to convince a dragon to part with its own blood of its own choice. That's the thing. It needs dragon blood from a dragon that's still living because as long as the, the dragon's still alive, the blood keeps the, the spell fresh. So even this isn't permanent because eventually the dragon will probably get killed. So, yeah. But we need all the sorts of cool stuff. We gotta go to the hole for two of them. Dimitrix Bastion and this is just the general hole on the uh, the um, <clears throat> Guardians of the Underfoot side. Then we have the research halls for the... No. This is the research halls. This is Dimitrix Bastion. Sorry, I got those two mixed up. And then this is Chella. So, next time, that's what we'll be doing. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm Angry Ice Cube and my uh, co-pilot here is Garpum. And, um... Peace out, all laters.